Well, I'm very, very much moved and, uh, and touched by the fact that the that the Park Board, with the uh, acquiescence or agreement of the City Council, have decided to name this beautiful new facility uh, after my service as mayor uh, as Schwiebert Park. I think it's going to be a wonderful asset for the community. Uh, looking forward to the dedication next spring or summer uh, and uh, uh, to many years of celebrating this majestic part of our Mississippi here in the Quad Cities. Mark's service to the city, obviously 20 years of being its mayor and before that a city council person, um, he has just given a big portion of his life. But, but Mark has been very instrumental in you know, our park and recreation program, very supportive. So uh, that was another reason that we considered him, obviously, to, be, to have the park named after him. We had several key ideas in mind, and one of them was that we would preserve a large portion of this for green space. Another was we would open it up so that you could see the river and get closer to the river than the seawall has historically allowed. And a third was to make sure that it would be a kind of a multi-use facility uh, where you could have playgrounds and places for people to gather to just watch the river or watch the, the soaring eagles and a place where we could have special events like concerts and, and art exhibitions and so forth. And if you look at the map, it's got all, or if you look at the diagram, it's got all those features included. What do you think your dad's thinking about the Schwebert name being oh, carried you're gonna, on? You're going to get me to tear up here, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, I think Dad would be very, very pleased and proud to have the Schwiebert name associated with such a fine facility, as am I.